Hey guys, so today's video will be about how you can improve your scores in the quantitative aptitude section which is a section in the common admission test, right? So I'll be discussing about that and uh, before I start the video, I just want to, you know, ask you uh, certain, you know, comments or feedback that you have which would help me, you know, improve, you know, the quality of the video or uh, I also have another question like whether you would prefer me like writing it on a you know computer screen using apps or whether the representation on the board is better for you or not right so please pause the video go to the comment section you know write down your comments like how i can make the video better how i can improve the video quality and uh, i will like go through the comments and uh, will try to incorporate it in my coming videos right so going back to the topic let's start on how to improve your quantitative aptitude section so quantitative aptitude section ha is basically quants, that's mathematics and uh, it's basically your 9th and 10th standard syllabus, right? So going back to 9th and 10th, you studied set theory, number theory, uh, geometry, circles, triangles, etc. You studied functions, inequalities, etc. So the syllabus for the quantitative aptitude section is the same, almost similar, like I would say 90% similar, right? So, go looking into the topics, right? So, let's look into what the topics are. So, first one, number theory and number systems, right? So, when I say number theory, number systems, uh, you'll have to learn properties of numbers such as prime, uh, co-prime, uh, even, odd, uh, and, you know, how to find a, a remainder of a particular, uh, you know, operation. Like, say, uh, I give you a huge number divided by uh, 7 and uh, you should you're supposed to find the remainders right so now number theory and number systems just gives you an easier way like it gives you certain properties of number which helps you in solving problems a little faster and uh, yeah so that is the uh, number theory number systems uh, basically it also involves hcf lcm and the likes second one is sequences and series so when i say sequences and series basically the progressions right so arithmetic progression geometric progression harmonic progression and uh, when I say series right they give you a s infinite series of numbers and they ask you to find this the sum of all those uh, sum of the series and uh, questions of that sort right so they give you a pattern say they give you a number say 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus and so on and they ask you to find what the sum is equal to so this topic has a few questions like that Geometry is basics, uh, basically polygons, circles, triangles. So you know, like basic geometry. Uh, statistics, uh, mean, median, mode, average, standard deviation, variance of the sort. Speed, distance, time is basically they. It's basically you know speed is equal to distance by time, and there are certain other formulas that you have to learn on the topic. Uh, functions so functions basically uh, it encapsulates uh, what exactly a function is what are the types of functions say even odd or uh, the mod function the signum function uh, and uh, basically gives you properties of each type of function and that is important while solving questions on this topic inequality uh, is basically uh, it teaches you certain properties on inequality like greater than lesser than and uh, so you should study that to know more about it. Percentages is, is like uh, again 10 standard syllabus. Ratio and proportion again 10 standard. Uh, interest that's uh, simple and compound interest. Logarithms that's log logs. So basically logarithms have certain properties that you should know before answering questions. Permutation and combination. Yeah, so that you must have studied in 11th and 12th also. So, uh, if you had taken math, that is, and uh, this topic is a little tricky to understand. So, you will need to work a little bit on this. So, keep that in mind. And probability, right? Uh, so, basically, a basic probability. And uh, you might have to study even Bayes' theorem, but uh, uh, there has not been uh, much questions asked on that in the recent CATs. Okay, so these are the topics right so let's move on to uh, how to improve your quant section
Okay. So basically, I got ninety eight point nine five in CAT two thousand nineteen quantitative aptitude section. So what does that mean, right? So I improved from ninety five point seven to ninety eight point nine five. So how did I make that jump, right? So it, I have something interesting to tell you. So initially, that is my first attempt in CAT two thousand eighteen. I studied quant from the notebook and I did not pay attention to my weaknesses. Say, I knew that I was not very good at say geometry and uh, number theory, but I did not pay special attention to those subjects, right? So I would just go solve through all the books and then uh, once I had finished it, I would just forget about the chapter because thinking that I knew everything about it. But uh, what really makes your score improve? in quantitative aptitude section is paying attention to your weaknesses and uh, making sure that you convert those weaknesses to your strengths right so basically what i did the second time around while writing cat 2019 was i knew i was my weaknesses and i started working on my weaknesses by taking uh, coaching material and arun sharma book and specifically concentrating on that which helped me you know raise the bar and almost touch 99 in quant right so that is something you should think about and uh, now let me tell you about the resources that you should use for quantitative aptitude section the first one is i qa book so uh, time as you know it's a coaching center has its own Q quantitative aptitude book so you should use it because they have a good collection of questions and it's very thorough it makes your preparation very strong the second resource i would like to tell you is the 2 iim uh, qa course so when i say 2 iim qa course so basically what i did was towards the end right i told you i focused on my weak set, weak areas right so once i knew what my weak areas was which was number theory geometry and permutation combination what i did was i purchased this course from 2 iim and i concentrated specifically on those my weaknesses and that helped me a lot right so because 2 iim has its own set of you know collection of problems and uh, practicing from that actually gave me you know an edge during the common admission test exam and the third course like many of you tell me that you have problems in you know clearing doubts and uh, you know many of my viewers who are from manipal also they say that they tell me that they do not have people to clear their doubts so the third this uh, coaching center i'm going to tell you about actually has like a online email kind of uh, setup where you can ask them doubts through emails and they answer it and uh, they also have a very good course for quant which i personally like a lot and which i took in cat for cat 2019 right so so there's something called qun academy right so this is a coaching center by patrick dusuza who's a 100 percentileer like he keeps getting 100 percentile i think five times till now continuously i think from 2017 2018 2019 and before that i think two times he got 100 percentile so this is his academy qun academy and uh, i actually had a very good experience with this and uh, it was basically an online course and the doubt clearing was pretty much on point right so you should look into this if you want a good course material and uh, doubt clearance uh, i would say 2 iim qa course is good for me at least during the end phase right for practice and time qa book is for basic self preparation right so uh, you want to you know start early prepare by yourself so for that i would suggest the time qa book and also you know the coaching classes that you attend that also will play a huge role right so this is all i have to tell you and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share the video thanks